Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Scott McDonald of Meriden. God's people are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, as revealed by the authority of Scripture alone, for God's glory alone. These are great truths of our faith. We have explored together over the week how as Christian people we are saved by God's work alone. Today, another great truth of our faith, the traditional term soli deo gloria, that we are saved in these ways and all for God's glory alone. Now, although we live in what has been called an age of self, we as called children of God may not be so independent. As Christians, we are those named after Christ, and we know that we are truly not our own. Why? Scripture says, we are bought with a price, and it is the life of Christ. So we are not our own. We are God's own. So to God alone be the glory. Now let me ask, what do you think the word glory means? What is God's glory anyway? What would you say? Well, we might say this. God's glory as revealed in Scripture is firstly a reflection of His greatness. Glory is a word that refers to God's honor, His beauty, His brightness, His power. We're talking about Almighty God here. And who can approach Him on their own? The psalm says, Our God is in the heavens. He does all that He pleases. I mean, He called you into being without even asking your permission. Imagine that. And of course, in His greatness, sinners cannot approach Him in themselves. He is the true Great One. Yes, God's glory is firstly a reflection of His all-powerful greatness. But God's glory is secondly a revealing of His goodness and His grace. In this way, He reveals His glory. He did this as the true Word of God Himself, who came down to us from heaven. It is Jesus who became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, says John. Yes, the glory of God is most clearly realized and experienced in His Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Here is where heaven came to earth, where God came down to reveal Himself in such an accessible way. And listen, He still reveals Himself this day with a message, that message being embodied in the very person of Jesus Christ Himself. It is all He is, it is all He has to say to you this day. You see, God reveals Himself to His world as a man who suffered and died to conquer death and the devil and to save us from our sins and, yes, even from ourselves. And so He still speaks. And it is all for His glory that He calls to Himself a people. We live as His people, hear His word, grow in faith, all to His glory this day. Johann Sebastian Bach never ceased to give credit to God for his talent and most of all for his salvation. At the bottom of his compositions, he often wrote the words, In the name of Jesus. Sometimes he wrote the words, Jesus, help. He then ended all his work by writing the phrase, To God alone be the glory. You see, God's glory is a reflection of His greatness. God's glory is also a revealing of His goodness and the gift of His grace for you in Jesus Christ. So, shouldn't the goal of our lives then be to live for Him each day and so glorify Him forever? It is all through Him, and so it is all offered to Him, to the honor and glory of God. As the Lord reveals His glory, we reflect it back 
in our lives of faith, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. So perhaps we too might begin each day with the prayer, Jesus, help. And may the end of our entire life's work be to God's glory alone. Thank you for joining me this week as we have explored together these great truths of our faith. God bless you. You've been listening to Pastor Scott McDonald of Meriden, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.